A warning to all about to listen to this podcast. The following audio may contain spoilers, content unsuitable for younger viewers and immature man-children, unnecessary profanity, and definite bad opinions. Now that you know what to expect, let's get on with the show. Welcome to Enemy Abroad Podcast, episode 46. I'm joined here by the lovely Ravi um, and Jared. Hello. Uh, today's the topic time where... I've ever been called lovely. <laughs> and oh, no, I was, just referring... I was just <laughs> referring to Ravi. But yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, we're sort of going off, off the usual topic discussion and trying out a new segment discussion episode. Where mm-hmm. we will bring you the latest news from around the otaku weeaboo world and interpret it in our own shitty taste. Yes. There's no one here to stop us and correct us, so we'll, we'll exactly. just let us won't necessarily be the best news. <laughs> in fact, well, it will I can guarantee s- some of it will be exciting, some of it will be funny, and some might just make you cry. Oh, boy. Some might maybe you cry from your penis. No, Wait, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're referring to. Hey, yeah. The, let's oh, wait, let's not tell Jared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll I guess see. the first thing first thing I guess we'll bring up is the the Hatsune Miku takes down Twin Tails' new shampoo ad featuring Scarlett Johansson. Who Scar Jo? Surprise, surprise, eh? <laughs> yeah, surprise. Uh, I guess this product is called whatever Lux and Beauty. Yeah. Or no, Straight and Beauty Lux by Lux. And apparently it will make your hair turn blue and also fold into ponytails or pigtails <laughs> or twin <laughs> tails exactly or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Nine tails. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> will yes, hair will grow. Hair will grow out of your ass into nine tails. <laughs> um, and then apparently throughout the episode, Miku's talking about, I definitely like the way that I look, but oh, hey, a cool commercial. But then like later she gets a phone call from Scarlett Johansson and uh, what did she say, Jared? Okay. Uh, you you uh, take some time while I figure it out. <laughs> okay. Um, she gives a very motivational quote. Okay, here we go. You ready? Ready. Yeah. Hi, Miku. This is Scarlet. Being true to who you are makes all your dreams possible. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder which Japanese producer made her say that. That sounds like something you'd find on some girl's like Tinder bio. <laughs> I th- they just like use Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, yeah, Hatsune Miku hair products are a thing. I'm pretty sure they've been a thing for a while now. Like but, beyond um, just wigs? <laughs> probably. <laughs> Honestly, though, I think like she looks super creepy in the advert. I, a little bit. Is, is that any maybe. different from normal? And her voice is also like... It's the worst voice they could have used for it. You can make Miku sound so much better than that. Yeah. Konnichiwa. If you actually look earlier in the commercial, uh, there's a screen where she's looking at a commercial, and it actually includes yeah. Scarlett Johansson, like, walking. Yeah. It doesn't like like if you look at the article, it do, it doesn't look like Scarlett Johansson very much, but it kind of <laughs> does, kind of doesn't. Like the scene, like the yeah. shot where it shows her looking at the cell phone. Oh my god, that looks super creepy too. 
Like they chose the worst picture of Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> They've like digitally added ten years <laughs> it's and dyed like, her hair. It looks like a uh, combination of her and Jennifer Aniston, but like not the hot version of Jennifer Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> like her being old. Ouch! I can definitely <laughs> see like the transition for like a uh, mainstream English actresses and actors <laughs> moving over to the Japanese audience. <laughs> Because, I mean, we've there's so many different, like, low-ball uh, Japanese advertisements with uh, famous actors and actresses like um, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. What's the guy? <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. Um, I know there's, there's been others. But, yeah, I'm kind of glad. I want to see some more funny and funny uh, Japanese commercials featuring English <laughs> That actually English reminded speaking. me of something kind of the opposite, I guess. I think it wasn't Miku in like a Domino's advert or something. Oh, it was the She's CEO, like the I believe, box. of... Yeah. Um, it was the CEO of Domino's doing a Japanese advert where they they basically have this augmented reality idol concert by Miku that she'll dance on whatever surface, but they... Your pizza box is usually they set the stage for it. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so it was like a phone app. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I tried that app at some point. That's absolutely disgusting, to be honest. <laughs> no, it was <laughs> it was absolutely it. beautiful. Like no, just like cause... have my phone pointing towards my figure cases and have Miku <laughs> dancing in there. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's see. Let's move. To the land down under and check out these Aussie restaurant designs Pikachu, Charmander, and Bulbasaur themed oh my Pokey God. Burgers. <laughs> I think I, I saw heard these a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I like the Pikachu ears where they just like took uh, Doritos and, and just snapped yeah. them in half and burnt <laughs> the ends. Burnt, burnt the tips of the Doritos. <laughs> Delicious. So, uh, and it says it says that they tried to make a Squirtle burger, but um <laughs> Ultimately scrapped when it became too difficult to create a blue oh bun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I agree. I honestly, I'm kind of surprised. Like, it's Australia doing this because, like, because it's usually Japan's fast food restaurants that make all the weird food. Like, we had, I think last uh, year they had like the black. They had the black burgers I with mean, like the black buns and the black <laughs> squid ink yeah. sauce. Ew. I remember that. That looked absolutely I mean, I'm disgusting. Sure, I'm sure it tastes sounds awesome. Like they, they do crazy <laughs> shit. Can we just talk well, about like, for a second how this place is called Down and Out Burger? Or like it's just like <laughs> what a is that? Is, is that referring to your bowel? Burger? <laughs> is that referring to like the bowel movements you'll have afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> Down and out. <laughs> Also, like, they, they have some character designs. Like, if you see the picture right below the, like, Pikachu and Bulbasaur burgers. Uh, Is that Wolverine? Yeah, it's like a Wolverine-shaped burger. <laughs> what? <laughs> or a burger-shaped Wolverine. I mean, I'd, I'd totally eat a Charmander <laughs> burger. I mean, like, spicy about, nacho sauce. What about the Bulbasaur? The green I mean, burger bun. The fucking broccoli up top. <laughs> They're saying that it tastes kind of yeah. like a Big Mac. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I mean, I I try not to judge food by the way it looks. I guess. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think people eat the uh, broccoli sprouting on top of the burger. Well, why not? <laughs> broccoli is pretty good. I mean, broccoli is good. But it's the burger, just one so stalk sure. of broccoli that was like <laughs> one little yeah. pathetic it stalk. Like it's stabbed into the bun. <laughs> it look, yeah. It looks yeah. like it. Let's see. Um, but like, okay. how, do, how do they like draw the faces on top? Do they just like use marker or what? It must, it's, mm. I'm guessing it's probably just food, it's like standard food ink. Yeah, mm. I'm pretty sure it must be food ink. And they might use like a stencil with like a food marker. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't see. Like, I remember. I remember, like as a child, like you could buy edible paper and like rice paper, food coloring ink. Yeah, rice paper, and like you could draw all over it and then you know eat it when you're done. 
<laughs> yeah, good Save. times. Oh, I want some rice paper. You used to get, uh, it looked like money notes. So uh, just like yeah. a 50 pound note. Damn, so cool. Let's see. <laughs> Moving on, we have new details about the Ray Zero PS4 Vita game. I'm actually really interested in this. I I seem it's like as well. Trouble. It's it seems so, you know, like yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Looking at the pictures. Yeah, f- but five PB, like I guess they're used to doing visual novels, so yeah, that's most of what they do. The game will have an original story taking place before the royal election at an event called the Beauty Queen Election, involving the royal collection candidates in a beauty contest where the winner will receive Metia, a treasure that is said to bring fortune. By circumstance, Subaru happens to kiss the prize, which curses him to die unless he receives a heartfelt kiss that what? will break it. Okay. Subaru interferes with the tournament to get closer to the candidates in an attempt to prevent his death. Yo, this game sounds really good now. <laughs> Yo, you'll love this. Oh, like, oh for sure. God. This just sounds like oh man, pander. This is this is literally Kyle pandering. <laughs> Let's see. Light not also to be noted. Good. The light novels. The light novel series has one million copies in print as of June. Like wow, okay, doing pretty good over there. Wait, is that the tenth? Like all volumes together. Um, yes, I believe so. Okay, yeah, and so. I think even before the anime aired, between November and May 2016, it was the tenth best-selling series. Of light novels. Yeah, it was one million copies in print uh, at, as of June 11th. Yeah. Let's see. I'm sure. I'm sure those. I'm sure it's a lot more now that yeah. the anime's almost through. Um, it actually, is almost done. And I'm. I'm curious. It feels weird. Yeah. So having having an anime that's like shaken the community. More than most have in in a long time. Chicken it's always weird to see them sense? just like. Uh, it's basically driven a wedge, from what I've seen. There's there's such a massive popularity spike, and then you notice like most people on the internet just like find the popularity completely distasteful. <laughs> Like even, even like r slash anime has a has a banner ad that says, "Yeah, we get it. Ray Zero is popular. Like, please, yeah. please stop complaining." Oh my god! But yeah, it's like. But I mean, that's with like any anime that yeah, becomes like really popular. popular nowadays. Is more just like, why the fuck is this popular? I hate it. <laughs> I hate you, people. Yeah. I am superior. I hate it when people like the anime I like. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, like, Ray Zero, ki- Death or Kiss, I can only pray to the gods that we get a localization of this game. I mean, somebody will probably I mean, patch possible. it, right? Oh, yeah, it'll take a long time, but... Yeah. Mm, patch-wise, though, it's for PS4 and Vita. Yeah, yeah Vita, Vita games are pretty... But like Vita hasn't been cracked yet. There are no. Oh, uh, I think it has, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I like a few months so. ago, it wasn't I mean, too long ago. Anyway. People are viewers are welcome to like totally call me an asshole and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I don't but, think um, that makes you an asshole, but yeah. Oh uh, well, <laughs> I'll call them an asshole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, it has. PS Vita has been unlocked, opening the door to homebrew and piracy. Oh, wow. when was that? Fairly recent, right? Uh, beginning of this last month. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Well, Wait, was it that recent? it's been a long, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. So, which will be fun. Uh, I mean, like, I think it's a real stretch to ask for someone to patch it. It's possible. It depends. If it's actually I mean, any yeah. good, it probably will be. I'm just like looking at like pointless pandering. 
<laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> they haven't even. They haven't even. What is it? Yen Press hasn't even released the second volume yet. Yeah, the first one's only last like, month, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe so. Actually, but yeah. Okay, it was just over a month ago. Yeah, it's it's terribly depressing to think about it because it's gonna take at the so rate long. they're going, it's going to be it's going to be at least like a year and a half, two years before they catch up to where the anime is in terms of like like licensed and localized volumes of of the uh, light novels. And then like the unofficial translations aren't doing it well either. I'm not sure exactly where they are. Let's yeah. see. Probably feel less uh words they probably <laughs> like aren't as bothered about doing it anymore since it's officially being translated there yeah 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 that's true and depressing yeah <laughs> so it probably will still be a very long time it's okay <laughs> it, it will happen eventually I'll probably still buy the game regardless. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed after reading this article. Because I was actually interested in like a visual novel along the lines of ReZero. I think it sounds more interesting in some ways as a visual novel. You mean like Actually, as opposed I'm, to like a prequel kind of thing? Well, this, as opposed this to like, like a, a side story entirely. slice of life romance. Oh, okay. I, was, I was hoping for more like a similar story to the light novels, mm-hmm. but in a visual oh, novel format. I don't know. I'm I'm completely fine with this. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's literally it's just gonna more. Sell like, I like like two characters. I think it's gonna sell like hotcakes. Probably in Japan, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, moving on. Oh. Let me link this to you guys if I haven't already. I want to talk about the new Your Name movie. Mm. Kimi no Nawa has apparently broken oh, wow. like broken records and is making a huge earth shattering mark on the movie. <laughs> it's the first time the book r- ranked number one since like June eighteenth, I guess. But ah, uh, I forget where the article was. But apparently, like this is the most record-breaking animated box office hit. Ah, uh, never mind. I don't, don't want to. Twelve point five million dollars in three days. Right. In three days, twelve point five million dollars for a Japanese animated movie. That is. Yeah. Like I believe what I read was the only thing that eclipsed that was like some Miyazaki v- films. Yeah. It's impressive. I never yeah. knew about that, actually. That's crazy. Right. Let's see. Uh, where Let's is... just hope it's better than five centimeters per second. <laughs> oh, you, you didn't like <laughs> five centimeters? I liked it until the third arc. Mm, let's see. Okay, Toho, it's, this this is Toho predicts that it will gross a total of six billion yen. So it's like $59 million. I'd say they're That's actually well. ridiculous. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, there's no saying if that'll be correct or not, but I'm guessing yeah. it'll probably be not far off. Right. We'll need Let's to make see. sure to put all these links in the description, by the way. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Um, That's right, where all the right. credits will be. We'll put the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be those guys. Yeah. Um, let's see. Going on... Apparently, we'll go back to the Squid Squid Girl author's new manga. Okay. Oh, damn. I thought I read this as an anime. Oh, well. (laughs) Still exciting. For anyone who's a Squid Girl fan or Ika Musume. I assume you've watched it, but probably not read it. Yeah. I've watched watched it, but not read it. Okay. It's, It's a pretty funny comedy, and I... I quite enjoyed it. It seems very popular. There was actually an episode of Anime Abroad where uh, well, we discussed it. Like we hadn't watched it, but like it was, it was a very in joke kind of thing, and has oh, okay. been referenced a few times since. Oh, I see. All right, Let's so see. 
Uh, what's this the, new show the, called? The... Atsumare Fushigi Kenkibu. Uh, or the, the manga, rather. It sounds incredibly oh, yeah. simple, but... Gather if Mystery Research Club. The girls' comedy series follows a protagonist named Daisuke who cannot decide on the club to join because he does not have anything he particularly wants to do. <laughs> that's that's so original. That, that sounds like literally... No, I, I've he has an encounter. He has an encounter that changes his life. Um... Yeah, as I said, that's all they're giving us. Sounds very simple, but if it's the same author <laughs> as Squid Girl, yeah, I don't think like the I mean, plot sounds pretty is promising. Most important, like by by looking at whatever this key visual thing is on the page, we've apparently got the nerdy the nerdy uh, school nurse or doctor who knows smart. everything. It uh, looks like she might be. I don't think we need any more smug doctor characters. <laughs> no, it's necessary. Too many smug doctors. Let's see. The doctor from that one show. What was it? Mm. Like to put to put the genre like on the spot, like Simpha Gears, whatever nurse, doctor, whatever she was, or, or as well as um what is it? Thirty fifth test platoon. Oh a right. doctor. She was not a doctor. Well, she was the type, <laughs> that type. <laughs> what was that? Where's, uh, she wears a lab with coat. The so crazy it's... big tits in the. Which one? It came out like maybe last year. Uh, I had like motorcycles and guns. Motorcycles <laughs> and guns. <laughs> um... I don't. Shit. I don't remember what the name was. But it wasn't no very good. I oh, watched okay. maybe half of it. Wonder if you're talking about that Ray Zero, Ga Ray Zero clone. Oh, Tokyo ESP. I no, don't think no. so. It doesn't sound like it. So I know that has big boobs and motorcycles. <laughs> no, that. Are you talking? Are you talking about um, Bakuon? Nope. That was this year. Oh. I feel like I might know I what you're talking about. Other... Actually, oh, I probably shit. don't, but I might. It's like but on the tip of my really tongue. Let's see. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like we've got the Doctor smug character. We've got the Osanana Jimmy with some crazy weird little ghost doll. And we've got that annoying as fuck uh, super energetic girl with the Yaiba. Oh, she'll be good. I guarantee. Oh, I'm sure she'll be good. I'm sure she'll be good. Uh, let's see. Next up, we've got New clips from the live action Your Lion April film. That should be Yay. interesting, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure how that actually is going to work. She's not even blonde. <laughs> Wait, is it Should a film or a series? It's a film. A film? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Not even blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she was still Japanese in the anime, right? Yeah, but she was blonde. Nobody's blonde, blonde, blonde now. They, they've done it before. You should, you should, you should watch the Notame Cantabile live action. Oh yeah, Straysman is a Japanese blonde man. <laughs> what? That sounds amazing. It it does sound amazing. Um, let's see. I mean, even if she was Film. blonde, they have like the weird like wig or like have her dye her hair to like I'm an sure. unnaturally blonde color. <laughs> I don't think blonde would, they would look like, good at all. But no. <laughs> they would unnecessarily use CG to blonde her hair. They're <laughs> <laughs> like, we have to use CG somewhere in this. <laughs> as long as they make her stand out. That's the important part. The film also stars E-Girl's all-female pop group member Ana Ishii as Kosei's childhood friend Tsubaki Sabo, Sawabe. That's Maybe literally just a way to grab character. money. That's explaining, yeah. Let's see. Like, that character does not need to be in the show. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, to be I, honest, I didn't care much for Shigatsuwa Kimi no Uso. I, I they have a lot. romance film director, so... Okay. From like a musical Fine. point of perspective, I didn't like it. In what way? I know, I know it's a musical, but what about the music? Like, 
being a pianist myself, I cannot, I couldn't, I could not relate whatsoever with the main character. Like watching him just like feeble around, like fumbling around and like making up <laughs> these ridiculous excuses. Like I can't feel the music and I can't touch the keyboard and I can't feel my hands. That sounds Whoa. oddly sexual. <laughs> okay. It would have been better <laughs> sexual. But anyways. Sigh. What could have so, been? Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, so yeah. That's happening. That live action movie. As well as this other article. There's a new Death Note film. Another well, one? I, I'm sure people have already heard of it. But yeah, there's going to be a new Death Note film. Uh, p- apparently called Light Up the New World. This year's live action Death Note sequel film. Ooh. Unveiled five new stills from the film on Thursday. Oh, they're just like uh, pictures of the cast. Yeah. I, oh, sadly, okay. like. Yeah, this is not like movie footage. <laughs> Other than <laughs> like two shots. Um, dear yeah. God, that really Which probably looks aren't awful. even finished. Wait, where is it? I haven't seen it. Just scroll down. Oh, Jesus you're talking Christ. about. <laughs> yeah, that's something you don't want to see at night. Oh my god. I mean, it's not even like terrifying. It's just ugly. Holy shit. It's like Voldemort. <laughs> well, worse. Jesus Christ. Like, it's I, like fucking much... Willem Dafoe. If they pull, up, pull that <laughs> off, it's terrifying. I mean, from, even though I sadly haven't seen the live action movie adaptations of Death Note, I hear they're pretty good. I've heard mixed things about all of them. Like, they all have their good and bad. Um, since Death Note is getting an English uh, adaptation or something, uh, Willem Dafoe is actually going to voice Ryuk. <laughs> it's, like, very fitting. Wait, you're serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, okay. It's getting released oh, on boy. Uh, Netflix. That sounds really good, actually. <laughs> Yikes, is all I have to say. <laughs> um, I hope this is good. I, I, oh yeah, let me look at uh, since it is relevant. Here. All right. So uh, Netflix see. announced that it's the live action Death Note film will premiere streaming in 2017. Oh, I thought it was a. I was a. The, I thought it was a dub cast. No, 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 no. It's like they're making their own film. Keith Stanfield as L. <laughs> Who's that? I'm guess a black guy. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm totally, I'm totally cool with that. I think from from just looking at Keith Stanfield, they're going with a very loose adaptation. Yeah. I mean, I thought the point of L was like to make him very, very pale. Light Turner. Yeah. Light oh, Turner. Oh my like god. <laughs> Mia Sutton. <laughs> this guy's shit. still called what are you? <laughs> and he's he's actually Japanese. I just hope Matsuda keeps half. his name. Paul Nakauchi. And then James Turner. <laughs> James Turner. <laughs> Is that Light's dad? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. What's his actual I, name? <laughs> Shay Wingham. Wingham. No, no, I mean uh, oh, Wiggum. Uh, Light's Light dad's real name. E- oh, I don't know his Dad's name. I think Light's name is Light. I can't remember actually. Light. His name is Soichiro Yagami. So now they've adopted oh, Soichiro y- Yagami. Yagami, oh, yeah. Yagami Light though. Yeah. Soichiro. To James Turner. My name is Light Turner. <laughs> and I'm a high school boy who just happened to happen upon a crazy notebook that kills people when I write their names in it. What's going <laughs> to happen next? Laugh track. <laughs> oh man if they had a laugh track to death note if they turned death note into a comedy i'd be super impressed <laughs> like, like when he finally turns the tables on the l like he, it's just a constant laugh track um <laughs> moving moving on we have <laughs> the new proposed or or in a or emo life-sized isa figure yes excellent. apparently they they're saying it skirts the line of good taste but I say, bah. <laughs> There's no such thing as like good and bad taste in figures. 
Well, if, yeah, um, <laughs> let me let me tap on some wood. I mean, this is life sized, um, so uh, automatically. Is it even better, a right? figure anymore? <laughs> it's more like a statue. Yeah. Oh damn, Jesus! I didn't. What the fuck? Are you going? <laughs> what are these poses? <laughs> these poses. This are is not what they're going for. Work. Yeah, they're really not. I mean, I'm totally okay with them, like, sh like shaming the ISA character. Um, wait, but she's definitely <laughs> worst girl. But Kirito is worst. I mean, girl. you're wrong, but let's see. It says with ISA uh, winning out over Kirino and Kuroneko. Huh. But what? What's that? Doesn't make any sense. What context is this? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. It doesn't say. <laughs> Come on, Crunchyroll. Fucking cite your news, please. <laughs> Shit source. I guess, I mean, this is all coming around, like, I guess the 10th anniversary of the Light Novels. Yeah. Has it really been that long? I was long? wondering Holy recently shit. how Ten old it years. Was. That's crazy. And then I believe Death Note as well is 10 years. It must oh. be more than that. <laughs> I can believe Death anime. Note is that old. Let's, let's find out. This is important. Speaking of, it's <laughs> 10 <laughs> years <laughs> since... Ten years since Eredeka Seven. God, that's, that's. I thought it was way longer than that, like fifteen. <laughs> what for? Er I'm pretty Erdeka? sure Nate watched that when yeah. he was a baby. <laughs> nah, that was two thousand six. Nate's mate. still a baby. <laughs> In a good He's way. Just a bigger baby. <laughs> He's a baby with a good taste. <laughs> well, what does that say about your taste? It says my taste is superior. Let's see. Okay, Death Note anime was two thousand six. So yeah, ten years. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy to think about that. I mean, yeah. Manga, manga, we must have seven or three. I've been. I, I was. I was going to save this one for last, but we got to go to the the first article I linked. Japan picks their most hated anime <laughs> heroines. I mean, the article is hosted on Goboyano, which I hate to say is pretty terrible. In terms of like, it's why you like quality it. of articles. I mean, if you want to say, it, if you don't want to say it, I'll say it. It's mm. pretty terrible. <laughs> Whoa! <They're>, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm looking yeah. through this list. <laughs> this is not real. Yeah, look through the list. Apparently, this is. Um, let's see. They elected to finally link the citation at the bottom, and this is by <laughs> ranking from, I guess, a Japanese site called. Ranking.goo.na.jp. But right. apparently, <laughs> let's go as back it goes, from ten, ten up. But I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this is sequentially downwards or sequ sequentially yeah, upwards. Oh, oh. Let's see. Okay, uh, let's just go yeah, on the sequ actual website. Looking at the Japanese site, there's percentages. Let's see. Ten seems to be, yeah. It looks like it goes from bottom to top. So let's start from the bottom. Uh, Kokomi Teruhashi from The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Which oh, that's this season. We, we need, yeah, we need to keep watching that. A lot of these are actually quite recent. Some of them, yeah. Uh, Medaka Kudokami from Medaka Box, which was last... No. no oh, she was so bad they remember her. Ago. Medaka Box I mean, was either, going, but... I'm pretty sure it was 20, 2014 or 15, the anime at least. Um, yeah, uh, 2012 was first time. Roku Nashi Blue. Shit. Yeah, that... Chucky. I don't know who that is. We'll <laughs> skip her. Yeah. And then we have everyone's Sakura. favorite. Sakura. <laughs> Haruno Sakura from okay. Naruto. Excuse me, it's, it's it's pronounced Naruto. No man, it's well, definitely Naruto. You have obviously never heard the dub. They say Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's quite special. I mean, like going back to my childhood. I mean, I've always loved Naruto, even through its bad parts. It. It's it's bad, but I can't hate it. But I mean, like it's never seen it's. Ah. <sighs> Don't it's, really care. <laughs> you're I mean, lucky to be honest, and you're <laughs> yeah. I'd say you're unlucky <laughs> because I have Hunter Hunter. 
I mean, the first few arcs of Naruto are some some of my favorite favorite like favorite like animated like battle anime segments. Oh, yeah, what's the big first big fight? Um, I have seen some nice fights. That was Zabuza. Actually. The yeah, pretty Zabuza. first big fight was oh my Zabuza. God. Sabaza and Haku. I th- I still that think was... that's like a very good like villain. Oh like, yeah, Haku's... Oh, of course. I mean, the amount of like tension and like, action and I mean back and forth between you know, even the dialogue was good. That was just an yeah. overall good arc. I think it was like, actually give... really well done in the manga too. Like people give Naruto way too much shit. All yeah, because like. Well, they can only complain about the pacing and the, uh, Filler. the fillers, which, yeah, the fillers, <laughs> it gets pretty fucking horrible to the point where I stopped, <laughs> I stopped watching. But, like, there are guys online that you can go and read and watch it without fillers. I mean, to be fair, even, like, the manga, <laughs> like, focusing on the main arcs, it gets pretty fucking tedious at times. Yeah. Like, I... I pretty much watched Shippuden up until like a bit after the pain arc, and then they just wouldn't stop filling, putting fillers <laughs> into it. But I actually never finished they, the manga. I, I I like stopped watching the anime like very early on, and like read the uh, manga. And I think I'm like maybe thirty chapters away from the ending. All right. <laughs> I read, like I read like seven hundred chapters and like almost got to the ending. Damn, that's close. <laughs> you should go read something like Tower of God, which is something probably good. better. Yeah. It's not even Japanese. I mean, it's definitely better. It's better than pretty much <laughs> most things. Uh, if you say so. I, mean, um, I do very much right. so. Let's, let's move on to Tsurara Okawa uh, from Nura, Rise of the Yokai Clan. I have no, no idea what this it. is. Yeah. So we'll skip her, and then we've got <laughs> Kagura she looks from like the shit, Kintama. Though. I can hear like the blood, blood squelching screams of all the fans <laughs> of Gintama. I'm really surprised because I don't. Honestly, I don't care for her either. To be honest, <laughs> I haven't seen it, but I just figured she'd be popular. She's a tease. <laughs> nice. And then next on the list is uh. Amine Misa from Death Note. I'm which, surprised she's on this list. Like, how the fuck? I'm a little surprised. I think well, I think that I can only see people getting pissed that she's so stupid. Right, well, I mean, but like, it's such an old series. How is she still on this list? I, I mean, I guess Japanese people hold grudges. I mean, it's, <laughs> no, like, Death Note is a forever continuing franchise. <laughs> you will never forget. And then... And then how is how is best girl of Shokugeki no Sama know, right? number three the on fuck? the fucking She's list? Not there. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, <laughs> what's her face? The blue blue autistic Megami. girl. <laughs> yeah, whatever whatever her name is should be like number one on this list oh, because she is, is pretty good. She is a shit character. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say she's a shit character. She's a good character. She's just fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept that. <laughs> not, I'm not saying I agree with it. Just well, I, I, don't, I just don't understand how so many people could hate Edina. I mean, she's not a douche because she wants to be. Yeah, it's well, just who it's she not, is. It's not like she's mean on purpose. <laughs> she, she has she has a family name to uphold. You're literally oh, just okay. making excuses for her. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, number two, Cheek Toge Kurisaki from Nisei Koi. Hey, get cooked, all you fans, you Onodera fans. <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> because Cheek Toge wins in the end. Oh, spoil alert. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck, fuck no. <laughs> I was trying not to say that. It's fine. Like, we've never, like, sp- we've never withheld spo- spoilers in the podcast, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really surprised um, about this next one, number one. Yeah. I'm totally I mean, fine with this. Given that she's what? literally the only girl in the show. I've, I'm guessing that she's only there because, like, other people are pissed. Yeah. Like, fans of, like, she... Kyle. Fans of, <laughs> I mean, what's her name? Dude, Frog Girl is best girl. Yeah, exactly. It's probably a bunch of him. <laughs> yeah, both are great. Neither of them Ochako should be there. Udak. 
without a car. Oh yeah, I should um, explain like Boku what no show I'm talking about. Yeah. No personality. Okay, hero. What? <laughs> she's she's awesome. She's adorable. She's floaty. Useless. She's fallopian. <laughs> floaty like her power. <laughs> okay. Um let's see. I guess that's for the list. <laughs> Apparently Japan hates Uraraka the most right now. Shit taste I mean, according to this this Japanese website and according like, to shitty Goboyano. I, I just don't understand. How can you like like she's not she has like no competition in the show apart from Frog Girl and how the fuck does anybody like Frog Girl? <laughs> oh. Honestly, no, like to be honest, best girl is what's her face? The um, the tall one with the actual tits. No, no, it's it's one of the teachers. Um, the one that looks like a BDSM vixen. <laughs> oh fuck! She's not. She's not. She's like barely shown in the anime. Actually, like, best she gets girl. In... Best girl is the nurse. <laughs> she was a pretty nice person. I mean, if you want to like cut yourself every day to go visit her, go ahead. <laughs> the edge. <laughs> yeah, cut yourself where <laughs> cut yourself wherever you want her to kiss. <laughs> okay, moving on. The naval city of Yokosaka uses high school fleet to draw tourists. It's like, why don't they think of this stuff in you know the West? Like use some of your we don't most need popular. They always use the like same locations every time. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, for more niche films and stuff. They probably, like when they I go to New York City, like it would be cool to see like Batman statues like peering over <laughs> me on, up on high or something like, like that. Yeah, I mean, Batman's not from New York City though. Well, there's no real Gotham, so right. Exactly. But it's more closely based they should off make of one. Chicago, which which tells you that they should start using real locations for for <laughs> cartoon characters. They do it in Marvel. Like you go to China, I want to see like Ang like flying, like <laughs> swinging on like a fucking vine. But in a Buddhist temple. In a Buddhist temple, like on a mountain. <laughs> It's like, please come see our Aang statue at the Buddhist temple. <laughs> There's a thousand thirty-six steps, but you'll see Aang. It's literally just a Buddha statue that they renamed to Aang. Yeah, <laughs> they just paint. They just painted like blue tattoos on it. They painted the arrows on. So, so what we need is more people to love cartoon characters. <laughs> Pretty much, we need no. To like to like really delve deep, we need more people to like resort to escapism. So let's but see. But wouldn't that mean like making the world worse? So people have to resort to escapism. Uh, well, it, first of all, it would mean like making our slash anime even more cancerous. <laughs> is that possible? No, that is a lot of people's escapism. Pretty much it's the only place they can put their shitty opinions. Exactly. Not that any of our viewers. Because if you those. keep repeating them, somebody will take them seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and use them again. You have to resort to making character specific servers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, let's see. The popular spring 2016 anime High School Fleet is set in Yokosaka, a Tokyo suburb with an American naval base and a Japanese naval port and training facilities. To capitalize on being showcased in the anime, the city is promoting its connections to, sh to the show and attracting tourists interested in cute high school girls <laughs> and the military. Well, well worded, Anime News Network. <laughs> high school fleet features real life Yokosaka locations like Mount Kinigusa Park and Suodai Shrine and East Japan Railway Company's Yokohama branch has, <laughs> has encouraged tourism there by anime fans through stamp rallies or scavenger oh. hunts. This fucking reminds me of that episode of Kuma Mika where they try to make a commercial for their village. That's pretty yeah, it's pretty much that's pretty <laughs> much it. And it's just as cringeworthy. <laughs> I mean, this would honestly make me want to visit um, Yokosaka more. <laughs> have, have you guys heard about these stamp rallies Yoksuka. before? 
Uh, yeah, they're yeah. the they're the ones where basically you have to go to different places and collect stamps. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I think it's some, like a scavenger some hunt. rail lines actually have them. Oh yeah. So like each stop, I've heard of rail lines doing that stamp. kind of stuff. It's pretty interesting. They've done and it with then you can get, like, a lot before. A clear file or something. If you get them all, <laughs> a clear file. <laughs> I mean, that's like the standard kind of prize. You get them with like al- albums and everything. Have they bottled these... their water with pictures from the anime? What you want? Let's see. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, if you want a high school fleet water bottle, please, by all means, go to Yokosuka. <gasps> pancakes! And pancakes. Oh my god. That's amazing. Of the meta cat. Of the really fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What is what is above that? Is that lip balm? I was wondering. Or that. yogurt? Or no? It looks are, like pudding. I think those are bottle caps. Oh, uh, no, those look like left, pudding. On the left, it says pudding, which is pudding. Or oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing it's the same thing anyway. Yeah, it looks more like soap or something, but. <laughs> Yokosuka is no stranger to anime pilgrimages. It's also promoted Tamayura in Arpeggio of Blue Steel. All right. It must have worked beforehand if they decided to do it again. That really encourages me to watch Tamayura. I was planning to do that pretty soon anyway. The explicit model for Yokosuka's anime promotion is Oarai. Oarai. A town north of Tokyo, which is featured in Girls in Panzer. Oh, <laughs> Another okay. anime about attractive girls doing militaristic things. <laughs> Oadai has celebrated Girls in Panzer with decorated trains, a cars, and a tank, and more. The town now collects 21 times more revenue than before, Ooh. Girls in Panzer, That's thanks to the anime. That's impressive. That's absurd. That is, that is absurdly impressive. Um, I guess keep doing whatever you're doing, Japan. That's really interesting. Keep actually. commercializing your village. Well, like, imagine well, I mean, like, go for it. On the tourist, on the tourist side, like that's really great. But like, isn't it kind of sad that like people are only coming to your city because, <laughs> um, I mean, because that... they're interested in lowly girls doing military things? <laughs> it doesn't mean that they don't appreciate the city. Which is what I'm sure but they're not going there. there for the city. They're going there because that's the city where their lowly military girls have. Yeah, have, it gives uh, them no reason digitally to look at the city. I mean, I'm totally fine with it. You know, I'm actually really curious where, what like Kyoto's had for uh, Kyoani. Uh, yeah, probably. Because well, I mean, like I mean, there, you there look a lot at, of cases look at like um. Happening. I mean, look at uh, what's it? The um, the skull from Kaon. Yeah, it's actually Come. just a tourist destination or spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that gets like tons of money just because of the anime. Yeah, wait, actually, they turned it into a museum. That was it. Yeah, like be, which is awesome. I'm sorry, we have to close down school <laughs> because of like predators. I actually wonder what happened with that school. I'm sure that I'm sure that's out there somewhere. I think they'd want people to know that like they had to close the school down because <laughs> predators kept like coming to the school and taking pictures of the people. We'll see real live cute high school girls. Not as cute. exactly <laughs> like <laughs> like girls walking along the gate and there's a guy like hey. Hey, can you say this? <laughs> yeah. Can you say Daisuke? <laughs> Here, put on this. Put on this. <laughs> Let's see. What else do we have? Going through the news. Going through the news. All right, we'll go with Jared's. Oh, okay. Lisa Tanera goes on hiatus for medical treatment. Also, um, Keiji Fujiwara. Um, yes. So, let's explain who these people actually are. Uh, Lisa Tanera, she's been an idol master. I can't remember which one, but she is one of them. Um, in Utawara Ramona, she was Kuron, who's a really great performance, actually. She's uh-huh. Erina in Shokugeki no Soma. 
Oh, shit. Also, so, uh, Mirai right. from Kyokai no Kanata. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, actually. But yeah, she's and, going uh, on hiatus. And Lise from Gochuban wa Usagi desu ka. And I, is, I actually really like her. Rabbit. So it's quite sad to hear that. I'm uh, against uh, my oh, no, she's adding a Nakiri. Yeah. yeah, I just said that. <laughs> no. Also in uh, Strike of Blood. I don't know why they're advertising this. Oh, that girl! Yeah, didn't, I told you this when we watched well, Kiki. Is it the, the same best person? we can at least thankfully say there will not be any Strike the Blood season two anytime <laughs> soon. Yeah, no Thank more Kiki. I'm okay with that too. A little. Yeah, it's the usual unspecified illness. So. Oh, she's we'll slated to voice the character Kisaki Kondo in Working, and Ayama Komichi in Kinero Mosaic Pretty Days, as well as reprise her role as fucking Yukina <laughs> Hima, Himaragi in the Strike the Blood 2 OVAs. There's a Strike the Blood 2? <laughs> I did not know that. I didn't care to know. That anime sucked and <laughs> sucked. Yeah. yeah, let's see what Keiji Fujiwara had to say. This is Keiji Fujiwara. I am thankful for the support of those who have allowed me to take my leave for medical reasons. From the bottom of my heart, I am thankful. I am filled with energy from the beautiful thoughts overflowing with color from people across the world who became aware that I was on leave, and from the feeling of having many people talking about it. I will tweet again. Truly, truly, thank you. That sounds like something straight out of an anime, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, he spent a lot of his life... In anime. <laughs> Good yeah. guy. Kenji Fujimoto is actually one of my favorite voice actors. So, let's see. Running out of topics, so I'm just going to fucking Google some shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 this is the one. A new Chinese-Japanese, Chinese-slash-Japanese anime, Blood of Wars. Blood of Wars. You hear that name? It just makes you want to... <laughs> blood... Blood of Wars. <laughs> Blood of Wars. Holy shit. Vampire the, the survival action television. <laughs> yeah, <series>. vampire. <laughs> Emon Blood Animation Company has announced a new vampire survival action television anime series titled Blood of Wars on Thursday. Based on my anime, Chinese blah, 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 blah. Emon describes a story. Sixty years ago, a strange case of insomnia struck the population, forcing them to stay awake for more than a full week. The victims, completely sleep-derived, all went mad. To cure this sleep illness, derived. a new medicine was produced, but the side effects turned the patients into vampires. What? This sounds so stupid. <laughs> humanity went to war against this new species. <laughs> so why? Uh, apparently, humanity <laughs> tried to fix them. Humanity tried to fix mass insomnia by giving them a medicine that's like side effects include turning it into a vampire, killing your beloved, beloved Allergy ones. Allergy to garlic. Just an accidental side effect. Let's see. Sure Humanity went to war against this this new species and triumphed, but some of the vampires managed to survive. Born from a human and a vampire, <laughs> the main character, me, Louis. <laughs> The child of hope is <laughs> is to represent the new hope that will connect the two species. Ringleader of a bank robbery. <laughs> 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 me, me Lee is arrested and transferred to a special prison in the National Defense Agency that monitors vampires. Trying to break free with Anji, Mi Lui is attacked by strange monsters, but he finds out that the prison location corresponds to the birthplace of vampires, the Blue Town. Why are vampires trapped in Blue Town? What are those strange monsters attacking them? Our heroes must fight to solve those mysteries. <laughs> just, just before we go on, I'm going to correct you and say, uh, his name is Milu. 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 Eri Kitamura as it's Anji. Like <laughs> yeah, this sounds so fucking stupid. <laughs> It really does. It sounds right. fucking awful. Oh. <laughs> I hope I mean, it's good. I've, but it seems I hope so it's I've heard of like worse. I mean, I've heard of worse synops synopses that yeah. have turned out to be great. Let's see. I'll um, definitely watch Mili it. Performing OP. Don't know who that is. Um, 
probably Chinese. What studio is this? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to <laughs> say the studio. Oh, oh wait, I see production AI. Um, studio Shamrock. Oh no, Can, yeah. these are art director from production AI. Let's see. Chen Ye yeah, is there. It doesn't say. It. I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, they sound Art Chinese direction. Anyway. Art direction by Minori Kimura, uh, Toradora. These voice actors um, do not seem very experienced. Okay, I'm I'm alright with that. Let's see. I'm okay with Kitamura Eddie. I know that name. Uh, she played, um... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, uh, she's Karen Araragi, isn't she? Or is I that someone think else? So. Okay, no, Let's I might see. be wrong. <laughs> no, she is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, no, she yeah, is. she's Karen. Yep, yep, I'm totally cool with this now. She's, you know, she's Vampires really are cool. Some cool vampire anime out there. <laughs> are there? A shiki. Okay. Are there any others? Um, to be honest, Vampire in the Night. Uh, fuck, I forget the title. Something Vampire Night in the Boond. Is is Trinity Blood supposed to be good? Because I watched it and uh, I didn't love it. Yeah, Trinity Blood is <laughs> wouldn't be on my list. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, going back to this. All right, the previous article I linked had a... Matoi the Sacred Slayer. I mean, we don't usually do pre-talks about anime, but Matoi the Sacred Slayer anime by White Fox. <sighs> by the way, just just so you know, I think I'm, I realized what show Ravi was talking about earlier, but we can get back to that after we're done. Yeah, that's fine. My studio, White Fox. Ah. <laughs> They've done a lot of good stuff. They sure have. They've also done number Let's six. Let's see who's so. working on it, though. Must see Ooh, the music player. composer from uh, Love Live Sunshine. Oh, nice. Love Live Sunshine's um, OST is fantastic. Yeah. It is. It feels Let's kind of see. overdramatic at times, but it's still fantastic. The writing is done Yosuke by the Kuroda. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. He did uh, M- Gundam 00 and My Hero. Regina performing the opening theme. Don't remember who she is. This is the director's third work, it seems, by the way. Third directorial work. And one of them's in OVAV. Seems decent. All right. Oh, well. That'll be interesting. I think we'll cut it there. It's, yeah. it's, it seems like a good place to cut it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, sorry this hasn't been... I mean, for the viewers who are were expecting like a two-hour-long podcast, I, I apologize. <laughs> we're not Actually, we're not doing a two-hour podcast. We tr- we try not to do two-hour podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> like it it just seems that with so many people's opinions that we have we have to like make it longer. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of hard to avoid it. And you know what they say? Yeah. The more wrong your opinions are, the more you have to repeat them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, That's why uh, Jonas and Brooke. Talk to talk so much. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly why. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's that was Anime Abroad podcast. Please uh, leave comments. Let, let us know how you like it. You know, follow, uh, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Well, we should be uh, back to fairly normal next week. We've had a couple of weeks of Hopefully. trouble, uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, we, we'll be more prepared. We apparently we'll scrapped our last. We apparently are scrapping our last podcast because I fucked the mic up. There but were I will try reasons. and get that out as maybe, maybe <laughs> reanimate episode new level. <laughs> yeah, it was way more than just you, your mic. <laughs> it was not the best. Anyways, episode. thanks for thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya. See ya.